install a camera.
go all the way. But you have to buy that that program. Yes, right? it's just a, yeah, it's called a mini in-reach device. We can research it. Yeah, and you can use it if you guys yeah. are hunters or anything else, just anywhere you don't have cell phone service, camping. Okay. Yeah, pretty, pretty neat. Really? Yeah, that's uh, genius. You don't have to get into like a satellite phone or anything. I guess it requires a, a subscription. Probably. I'm not, I'm not sure what the details are. Pair it there, devices. Yeah, yeah. You can it already zones. knows my phone now. Perfect. And you control your zones, your volume, all that fun stuff. Okay. Go back to home. And this autopilot here is going to be a lot of the same information that you're looking up on this autopilot Garmin head unit here. It's going to give you your heading degrees. sensitive on the top. So this is really cool. This is fun stuff you guys can go out and offshore and just play with. It's a great example of get out there and play with it. Find a good good bottom spot there. Figure out which is right. You 
make it beep like they do on Wicked Tuna. <laughs> you want me to catch all the fish too? <laughs> yeah. No, I haven't. I think my favorite one is when I go through my Coast Guard requires you to have a sound producing device and they say, well, what about my wife? Does my wife count? <laughs> You'd be surprised. More than, more than that, it happens a lot. <laughs> Did I do the right clear view? Yeah. Yours were just a little rearranged. Okay. Oh, that's, that's that's gonna be great. So what does this do? It's a, a different sonar view. So like if there was a tree on the bottom, you'd be able to make out the shape of the tree. Oh, Instead got of just it. seeing like that that red that we were seeing of the fish, you'd be able to make out more of a shape. So like the Liberty ship, you could in fact see like parts of the ship or something. It would look more like a ship rather than a big red blob. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, got it. You got it. learning the driving. Charts. 
nav charts, what you're going to really be using, mostly fishing chart, is going to be a, another chart layout, but with less cartography. It's kind of empty and plain. <laughs> you won't be going into it so much. Um, so we'll go into nav chart. That's going to give you all your navigation there. So this is saying right now, this wants to autopilot us to the waypoint that we dropped. That's what the flag means. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So if we were to hit engage, it would want to take us to the waypoint that we engaged to earlier. So to take that off the screen, hit stop panning. So that's going to bring center you back. And then on the top left hand corner, the big red stop sign, the smaller stop sign. Okay. And that takes, that takes that away. Now it won't want to navigate there anymore. On your navigation chart, you can pinch and zoom with your fingers to zoom in and zoom out. The more you zoom in, the more detailed it gets. The more you zoom out, the less detailed it is. So if you were moving your fingers saying, hey, let's go, I want to go over to Fort Walton one day, never been, kind of checking it out, checking it out, and you're like, oh, okay, now where is me? Stop panic mode brings you back to yourself. Autopilot can also be engaged on your navigation chart here. So you can pick any point on the screen. So go ahead and pick something anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Mm -hmm. Top bar there, you're gonna hit go to. And then now it's gonna ask you if you want to engage. Okay. But we're gonna hit cancel. If we were to engage right now, it will take start. us that way, and it'll, it'll probably take us into one of the bridge plans. Okay. <laughs> um, Got so it. something to consider when you're using autopilot, open bodies of water. You want to stop them. Okay. And then definitely be cautious at all times. So you can do some other fun stuff with your autopilot, like for example, we were talking about, like, um, maybe you'll say, okay, well, let's go to Panama City one day. And then we want to shoot out into West Bay. I can hit auto guidance and that's going to create a route for me so now it's to say okay well you're going to want to run through the ocean it's not going to want to take me through the ditch but it'll, right. but it'll give you a good idea of how to get there we've never done shell island and i want to go to shell island so okay we are going to do that you guys will have to do that have you ever been through the ditch no it is the coolest ride no ever. it I is never. so exciting i get i love it when people oh. do we just had some clients go Last weekend, I said, we're going to run the outside. I said, no, no, you have to run through the ditch. I want to go through the and ditch. And he came back and said, I will never run the outside ever again. Uh, it okay. is awesome. Um, what is the ditch? Do you just put, you just say, I want to go through the ditch? Yep. <laughs> That's it. And then you just say, go. <laughs> so y'all will come through the bay here. Uh-huh. And then just follow this intercoastal, the ICW, all these okay. coastal markers, and this is the That's ditch. That's the ditch. Oh, awesome. And it is beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. You can go as fast or as slow as you want there. Just be cautious of other boaters and some right. debris. And then uh, it's about a, you know, they have a good two hour ride. Yeah. That's so. nice. That's a nice day, though. It is. To spend the day. I think I've done it in an hour and 15, but I was hauling it. But. Yeah. <laughs> And that was all the way from other shore too. Uh, so you come out through the ditch and it'll pop you into West Bay, so Panama City. You follow these trail markers, doo -doo -doo. and then when you get into this big area here, you'll come under the bridge, follow these channel markers still. There'll be a big base over here, mm -hmm. or a shipping channel, I believe it is. I'll actually probably tell you. Then you can come through these channel markers and this is all Shell Island. Oh, Shell Island. okay, mm -hmm. okay. So you, this is the you go maps out in or... Panama City as well. Okay. And then back up in here is where you've got restaurants, our other legendary location, Pirates okay. Cove. There's a big marina over there. Mm -hmm. All those little sailboats are something you can click on and zoom in maybe a little bit more. Passport Marina and Boat Yard. Okay. We did go over to that legendary too. It went a lot. Cool. I'll tell you what these are. We want to go to the restaurant. Yeah, we definitely will go over there and do that. We have not a restaurant. Not by boat. No, we'll do something. Your channel markers 
there. It does get pretty shallow in here. Yeah. So it's really just follow your trust your trust your Garmin. Right. Or if it says it's two feet, it's really probably two feet. Yeah. Blue is bad. That's how we put it. Yeah. And then you've got Pirates Cove. Do you have a favorite restaurant over there that you can get to by water? I have not been too much by water over there. Okay. I don't have any recommendations, but I've heard Pirates Cove is pretty cool. Easy to get to. Is that the one we would eat at when we went over there? I don't know which one. What was the name of that restaurant? Well, we can Google we know search it. it. We've been to it. It's not Angelo's. No. Yeah, so there's a bunch of lots of cool stuff to do, lots of fun places to go. I know people that run over for like the waffle games and Pensacola and stay the night and Pal Fox or. I don't know what that is either. The waffle game. Wahoo, the baseball. Oh, oh, the baseball, team. oh baseball, <laughs> baseball. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did go to the. That's how big they are. <laughs> yeah. Blue Angels, if they can ever play again or fly again. I know. I have been. I was so bummed we didn't go this year. Yeah. I was ready for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, All right. So we'll stop panning. Oh, home. I didn't stop. Okay. So the 3D chart, fisheye, that's going to be with your vision card. Mm -hmm. Once you guys with that then it doesn't really do much good for you now it's not on here now is it no okay doesn't do too much next we're going to combos that's going to be able to split your screen so if you wanted to split these screens even more so you can do like traditional clear view map radar that's how you would do that okay and then you can create your own by going into any of them. So let's say, well, for example, the four square. Which one did you, oh, there. Mm -hmm. So go into menu, edit combo. And then you'll be able to click on them and replace it with data. So if uh, you're like, I don't care for the side view, but I really want in my gauges, my fuel level. And then you hit, you know, use total fuel on board, and then I'll put your fuel gauge right there. Okay. So you can customize it. Can you do the Yamaha gauges? I don't think it was giving me that option. Go into engine, actually. Run our Yamaha ones. Garmin set up different split screens if they what they think that you're going to want to see if you were sailing or docking and then you can create a custom ones too you can say like fishing one or captain Megan screens too whatever it may be and we have our favorites you can press and hold whichever ones you use the most so they're all on one, oh, one okay. page so you're not scrolling through different pages You'll always find your Garmin manual under info. Owner's manual. You scroll that page up. Oh. Um, on the actual bars, bring them up. Yeah. Oh, right I see. Yeah. Okay. Owner's manual. Okay. Sirius XM signal. Preheat indicator. Uh, that's just when you have your ignitions on and your engines aren't on yet. It's telling you like something's not right. That's because they're not running. <laughs> so is the warning we're getting no serious signal? Uh huh. Well, what's but that's lit up. Preheat indicator. Right. So if I were to turn my engines off right now and then just have my ignitions on, it'll do the same thing because your engines aren't running. So they're oh, I see. Yeah. I see. I so see. So they're saying like, hey, these aren't preheating. It's like oh, okay yeah, because they're not running. Uh, okay. Yeah. Got it. You can hook your Sirius. Yeah, if you have Sirius XM. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and not have to pair my phone. Right. So if you, you don't want to, use to pay Sirius. for an extra, yeah. If you want to use, oh well, no, I don't use Sirius. I use Spotify. But no, doesn't matter. Car. Yeah. Use it in your car. Right. Yeah. Well, you just pay for another subscription. You pay for it two. It might be cheaper for uh, a boat. Yeah. Maybe it will be. That's a good point. To like add on. Good point, Stan. Then you don't have to use your data. You can right. get the channels offshore. Yeah, I like of that. that. Nature. Mm -hmm. That's worth looking into. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. No commercials. That's right. Part. Yeah. Yeah. All 
Alright. So you've got lots of fun stuff in the Garmin. I could spend five hours with you just telling you what your Garmin can do. That's just a basic crash course.